Hello and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to be doing two different looks using the same curling rod. The curling rod we will be using today is the dry bar. This is the three day bender in one and a quarter inch. Just to go over some quick hair care, the shampoo and conditioner that I've been using is the Brio Geo Rosarco Repair Conditioner and Shampoo. Just these bottles here. Now this is the first time that I've used any Brio Geo products. Now so far I do really enjoy it. I normally am using the Whey Volume and also their Repair Shampoo and Conditioner. So from now on, I believe what I'm going to be doing is just kind of switching them out instead of just sticking with one shampoo and conditioner. I find that when you kind of switch up your routine and switch into something else, it just allows your hair to react differently and I get better results with it. And then for our hairspray today, I'm going to be using the Way Soft Hairspray, just this guy right here. And without further ado, let's just jump right into the first look. The first look that we're going to go ahead into today is a quick and easy one. It's my go-to whenever I have an early start and just need something fast. First step will be to section the hair. So we're going to be sectioning into four different parts. I'm going to be starting kind of right behind the ear here. So I'm going to be sectioning from here down into there. I wanted to note also that I have not prepped my hair with anything. This is just kind of how I woke up this morning. I just brushed it out. I normally wash my hair before bed and just sleep on it instead of blow drying it every morning like I was. Now, the cool thing about this curling rod is it actually spins. So you're gonna kind of bring it up to where you want, just about so. You're actually just going to spin the rod around. And just hold it there for 10 seconds and when you are ready to release you just spin it and it curls right out. The second part is going to go right down the middle. Sometimes when there is too much hair in the curling rod, it does get caught. All that you need to do is kind of start back from the beginning and pull through. Alright, so there you have it. So the curls are all in. I'm going to wait for the hair to kind of cool off. During this time I would brush my teeth, get dressed. Now the curls tend to stay pretty well on me throughout the day, so I don't ever put any extra product in my hair. I like having that kind of soft, loose curl. However, if you are somebody that has more straight hair and you find that curls just don't stay, then of course, do put some hairspray in. Once those curls are cooled off, I'm actually just gonna go ahead and brush right through. And the final product is just nice, light, bouncy curls. By not taking the curl up higher, you do find that you just get that nice curl just at the bottom here. And it can't really get any easier than that. The next look has a little bit more to it, so it does take more time. It's for if you want that nice beachy wave look. Now for starting out, you can start however your hair is, whether it's straight, a little bit curled, it doesn't really matter. You are going to be sectioning your hair in three parts. So you're going to be sectioning here, here, and then the crown of your head. Just going to take my little clip here and just pin that hair up. Always make sure to run your hair through a brush. Now you're going to be grabbing the hair here and you're just going to roll it up like so, leaving the end of the strand out about that much. 
You're going to let that sit for about 10 seconds. When you uncurl it, you're going to pull it through and then go again. And doing it this way, what it's gonna be doing is creating a spiral effect or twist in your hair. As you can see there. And once you have a nice twist like so, I'm just going to pull the hair out and I'm gonna just pull it straight. And the strand is just gonna be left like that. Don't brush it out just yet, you're gonna be doing that at the end. Starting at the crown here. Now for this section, I'm always going to start curling away from my face. Just like so. Now once you're moving into the second portion, make sure to brush through always. And you're not going to be going in the same way that you went previously. You're going to be going in the opposite direction. If you have layered hair and you notice that some pieces are falling out, don't worry about it. Just keep curling the way that you are. Everything will blend in at the end. And then for the top, nothing else has changed. Just keep doing what you're doing. Beautiful, beautiful sight right now. Beautiful, beautiful life right now. Got the 
So once all the portions are done, this is kind of how it turns out. So I normally just let the hair cool off. If you are somebody that has more straight hair and you find that curly styles just don't last on you, you can go ahead and put some hairspray in now. For myself, I usually put the hairspray in afterwards once I have the style set. Now that the hair has cooled off, I'm just going to be taking my fingers and I am just going to be running through the curls before I go ahead and take a brush through them. Alright, and there you have it, some nice beachy waves there. Now for a hairspray, I normally like going in with the Way Soft hairspray here. I just find that my hair doesn't dry out while using this. So. When using hairspray, I like to grab my hair and pull it up and set it like that. It just keeps the volume in the lower parts so everything doesn't drag down. And there you have it. Thank you all so much for watching my two styles using the same curling rod. If you like this video, definitely give it a thumbs up and don't forget to go ahead and subscribe to my channel. We'll see you all again next time.